So what does the CPU do anyway? Basically, it does four things. It will fetch an instruction, decode the instruction, execute it, and then store the result somewhere. Fetch, decode, execute, store. Fetch, decode, execute, store. It does this. This is called a cycle. So an expression developed in the industry, cycles per second. It's an important metric. It's also known as Hertz. And it can be written HZ. How many of these cycles can your PC do per second? Cycles per second. In 1980, it could do 4.7 million cycles per second. Million mega CPS cycles per second hertz. 4.7 megahertz. The speed increased a lot since then. <laughs> Quite a lot. But still, just look at this. There's a, there's a problem here. It can only do one thing at a time. In fact, it looks like a single thread of work. As if only one thing can be done at a time. It does this, then this, then this, then this. Grabs another job. Does this, 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 and this. Etc., etc. Grabs another job. Hmm. What if it could do two threads at a time? That would be like two CPUs in one. It would go twice as fast, theoretically. Hey, let's let's go even further. Let's put two CPUs inside a PC, like so. Both of them hyper-threading. More than one thread. That's like four CPUs, theoretically. We'll call it four core. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. But wait a minute, we're the empire, we use Latin. We won't say four core. Four CPUs, that's quad core. Yes, should we do that? We'll call it quad core. Should we? No, we won't. There are only two cores inside. Even though they're hyper-threading, there are only two cores inside. So, we'll call it dual core. Two core even though it's behaving quad core -ish, theoretically. It's the physical core count, the CPU count, that matters. But dual-core hyper-threading is like... It's like having four single-threaded CPUs in your PC, theoretically. So if they are hyper-threaded, your CPUs. Then multiply each core by two. And that's the equivalent of how many single threaded CPUs you have on your PC, theoretically. So here we have two cores. Two times two equals four single threaded CPUs. Here's four cores. Four times two equals eight single-threaded CPUs, theoretically. This quad-core is the theoretical equivalent of eight single-threaded CPUs. Now, we're up to octo-cores, and even deca-cores. This is George Wall. Please rate and share this video. And good luck.